Well, good Thursday afternoon. Just after 1230 here, temperatures are in the mid 60s in Jefferson City. It's certainly a, another warm day, uh, not something we're unused to at this point this December. It's uh, been a pretty warm month and we just got another day of sunshine and almost spring like temperatures. Blue skies still here in Jefferson City. We'll keep the clear conditions for the most part into the evening hours. Right now, temperatures area wide in the 60s for the most part. We do have some 50s to the north still, and this is kind of where we expect the picture to end up later this afternoon. Uh, still in the 60s, and that's where we think our high temperatures expected to come. And as we get into the next couple of days, we will see a bit of a temperature swing. We're going to see a bit of a switch up. We're talking upper 60s again for your Friday, uh, about four to five degrees warmer than today. And then getting into tomorrow, or I should say your weekend, Saturday, we're dropping well down into more seasonable temperatures for this time of the year. But even our forecasted high of 47 is still a degree warmer than our average high. Uh, just a, a, a story that clearly tells how warm we are uh, right now. And then we're expecting temperatures to climb again, potentially back into the 70s by Wednesday. And our temperature tomorrow might be close to record breaking temperatures. 69 is the record in the Columbia area for the forecast in the Columbia area. We've got 68 degrees. Jefferson City, we're about a degree off forecast compared to record highs. So certainly doable. Uh, one shift in the forecast and we could be talking about record breaking warmth for your Friday. Speaking of warmth uh, in December, 70 degree days in December over the last 30 years. We did it once there, twice there, twice there, twice there. Uh, as we get into 12 and 17, that's two years we've seen two days in the month of December warmer than or 70 degrees or warmer. We're approaching maybe seeing three or four, at least in the seven day forecast. As far as that's concerned, we've seen uh, uh, we, we're getting close to that. So uh, as we head into the next 24 hours, one of the reasons we're so warm here is we were in this warm sector of this warm front. It's just off to our north. We're seeing plenty of wind gusting out of the south today. Here comes a little cold front that will just knock our temperatures down a little bit overnight, but it won't do much. It kind of stalls out before we see another warm front lift on through. So we're cooling down into the 40s overnight tonight, really near that 40 degree mark for a lot of folks by the time you're heading out tomorrow. And then we're expecting a warm front to lift back towards the north. Uh, future track showing more cloud cover with that as well and a chance for some scattered showers as that warm front lifts. Behind those showers, behind that warm front, we might dry out for a little bit. I don't expect Friday to be a washout. We might even see a little bit of sunshine Friday, which could help us if we're trying to get towards those record temperatures. The cloud cover may very well keep us uh, in the upper 60s, even maybe even the mid 60s, depending on how much cloud cover we see. But the wind out of the south will continue out ahead of this cold front, and that may generate a few thunderstorms as we get late into the day Friday. Really, I think the best chance is going to be on the eastern half of our viewing area, but Depending on the timing of the system, this could shift back towards the east or, or back towards the west, or it could shift more so eastward. We'll be tracking this carefully as the system gets closer. Things will become a little bit more clear. Right now, the better chance for severe weather staying to our east, but we could see uh, a few thunderstorms, still a few rumbles of thunder in those southeasternmost counties. Here's the Storm Prediction Center's threat. Again, an enhanced risk well off to our south and east, but we do have a marginal slice moving through what looks like the St. Louis area there. So if you're heading towards the east, if you're heading towards St. Louis Friday and you plan to spend the evening there in St. Louis overnight, maybe even, uh, we'll be watching that area for a chance for some strong to severe storms. So make sure you pay attention to the forecast, especially if that's your plan. Saturday into Sunday, things are drier. We're cool. Saturday morning, 30s, low 30s. Saturday afternoon, again, it's more seasonable for this time of the year. Still a degree warmer than our average, but uh, we'll likely feel the cooler effects of the air there. Sunday, we're warming back into the mid-50s, and then if if you take a look at the next seven days, especially into early next week, it certainly doesn't feel like December. There's a couple more shots of days close to 70 degrees, maybe even warmer than 70 degrees there in the forecast. Certainly warmer than average for this time of the year.